to another episode of best extreme reactors for efficiency possible so uh i had some comments on my last uh, best extreme reactors video for the best efficiency and uh basically people pointed out that there is another liquid in the game that i wasn't aware of uh so basically i thought liquid ender was the best coolant for big reactors uh, sorry, extreme reactors, but it appears that there is another liquid in 1.10 Sky Factory. So I came back to my reactor design that I made, and I replaced it with the one they suggested. Um, and so I, I checked the, the math on it. I have the new math. So this is what it looks like. Uh, this stuff kind of acts like cryothium, where it makes snow and stuff. You can see where next to the area it's touching it creates snow all down there is glass by the way uh because you can't have snow on the interior so if you do this uh with this liquid you actually can't have uh casing on the bottom but you have to have casing underneath the fuel rods uh it will not act as a real reactor you'll see that uh only reactor casings can be used here and it's talking about these blocks so i had to replace it with casing uh but yeah this is called vapor of levity so basically you can see the temperature is 5k on the other one it was 1273k so huge gigantic difference almost four times as cool as the other one okay and then second uh this this liquid when you place it down it rises so you need to keep that in mind when you're using it you have to place it at the bottom and it rises to the top so it's it's, you're going to use many, many more buckets for this, and also I need to point out that the the liquid is very expensive. So it takes greens of pea salty. This is cheap. That's fine. Uh, it also takes greens of pre pre science pre science, which is a pre science pre science crystal pre science crystal, which is a vibrant crystal plus a shulker. So you're gonna have to make an auto spawner of a shulker, uh, capture the souls, and have vibrant crystals. So the vibrant crystals is fine. You're gonna need levels, and then you're gonna need shulkers. So you're gonna have to make a spawner for shulkers. You have to capture a shulker from the end, and then uh, put it obviously in like an auto spawner or something from Ender IO. Uh, make a spawner of it, and then you're good. And then you also need to combine it with Dew of the Void which apparently doesn't even have a recipe maybe you have to get it from the end maybe i'll google that later on how to actually get it in a playthrough uh but right now i don't know i thought i could just click that and it would tell me how okay so next we look at the power it's 331,530. this went up a little bit from when i last looked at it it's been jumping from like 480 to 530 and the uh millibuckets per tick is 1.67 1 2 or 3 it changes weirdly so i just said uh two since it kept jumping back and forth i just made it as worse as possible you see how the number of rf went down it's because of how much uh yellorium is in there so i just said three three one four eight i said a very conservative number so three hundred thirty one thousand four hundred eighty rfs per tick this is thirty thousand four hundred eighty more than my one with liquid ender as well you can see the fuel usage is point 08 less okay so then when you do the math on it it's 189 uh, 198,253 rfs per millibucket per tick where the other one was 178,000 so this is a difference of 20,000 rfs per millibucket then you have how much millibuck uh how much rfs per ingot you're gonna get 198.253 million rfs per ingot okay and then ingots per minute is 2.0064 so that's not very different from the other one you're still going to be using almost as much fuel but you're going to be getting an extra uh 20k per per millibucket which it adds up to obviously 20 million in an ingot which is quite a lot of power i'd have to say uh it's considerable that's another like because you compare 20 million of the 178 million uh, and there's 20, uh, five twenties and a hundred. So it's like, this is nine, nine twenties. So one in nine increase, 
a 1 out of 9 increase in power from each millibucket. So that's that's pretty good when you think about it. That's just over 20% of its power. Sorry, 1 in 9, just, just over 10%, sorry. Math is hard. Okay, so anyways, if you guys have this stuff and are able to do it, I would recommend... Uh, Vapor of Levity, this is now the best efficient reactor, and you might be able to find designs, like I said before, where you get maybe, like, 2 million more RFs per ingot, or, like, 2,000 more per millibucket, but really, this is a very simple design, very easy to make, and, uh, doesn't it look fucking great? And also, that's a good amount of power, 331,000, so really, now you just have to make three of these or so, and you get, uh, your 1 million RFs, if that was your goal. Either way though, hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you guys did, leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys already knew this and you were yelling at me, uh, congratulations and thank you so much for pointing this out. Uh, now again, if there's anything you guys uh, want me to show next, leave some comments in the comment section below of better uh, of other mods you want me to go over or other uh, difficult things with multi-blocks that you guys want me to show off. Um, if you guys are new, subscribe, hit that little bell to receive a little piece of extra notification so you guys don't miss my streams on YouTube and when I upload videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one when I probably stream some more Sky Factory 3. Take care.